Hello guys, today we'll be covering a crime thriller film called Bullethead. All relevant links and information for the film will be in the pinned comment below, so let's get into it. The movie commences from the perspective of a dog named Bullethead. His owner, Blue, urges his right-hand man, the handler, to escort Bullethead to the dogfighting arena. Soon, Bullethead is pitted against two deadly dogs in a handicap match. Despite the unfair disadvantage, Bullethead defeats and kills them both. The scene then shifts to four robbers, who have somehow managed to escape from the police after robbing a bank. They reach an abandoned building, but unfortunately, their car loses control and hits a wall. As a result, one of the robbers, Addy, passes away. The remaining three, Stacy, Walker, and Gage, are devastated by this, but they still head inside the building to seek refuge. Soon, Stacy calls another driver for help, but the latter mentions that he can only arrive there after the sun goes down. Hearing this, Gage becomes impatient and says that he needs to take his medicine. Turns out that Gage is in opiate withdrawal and is desperate to shoot up drugs into his nerves to calm himself down. While Stacy and Walker discuss opening the stolen safe, Gage does not care about anything other than consuming drugs. Here, we get to know that Gage is the one who messed up the heist and caused the group to be chased by police officers. Having no other options left, Stacy returns Gage's bag containing his drug-related items. While waiting for the sun to go down, Stacy remembers his ex-girlfriend Grace, who had urged him to join her and lead a normal life. In the meantime, Walker tells Stacy about his past, where he used to work in a pet shop. It was Christmas and his boss had promised him some money. However, Walker soon found out that he was deceived and had no options left. And with no options left, he stole an aquarium with various fish to give to his daughter. Unfortunately, in the morning, all the other fish died except a yellow one, which could only survive in fresh water. At present, Gage is inside the restroom, checking the lockers. While searching through the medicines here, he hears a growling sound and walks towards it to inspect. After a bit of walking, he suddenly witnesses something shocking and freezes in fear. The scene then flashes back to Bullethead, who is badly injured after his fight with the two deadly dogs. When Blue notices this, he orders the handler to take Bullethead away and eliminate him. Following the order, the handler brings Bullethead to a torture room and places some electrical wires around his body. But as he tries to turn the switch on, Bullethead jumps from the table and attacks him. After a while, the handler comes out of the room, injured, and heads towards the locker room to put some first aid on his wound. In the next scene, after Gage takes more time than expected, Walker and Stacy start searching for him. They spot him in the restroom, staring at something. Walker and Stacy approach him and witness a man, the handler, lying dead in front of him. Soon, the injured Bullethead, who's now angry, arrives there and starts growling at them. The trio immediately run away, but Bullethead also follows them. Luckily, they reach a room and lock themselves inside. In the meantime, Gage insists on going out and retrieving his bag which he'd left in the restroom. Stacy tries his best to stop him, but a crazy Gage does not listen. As a result, he punches the addict in the face and knocks him unconscious. In the next scene, we're taken into a flashback where Bullethead is still a puppy. Blue brings him to the handler and orders him to train the dog to fight so they can make some money off him. Back in the present, Stacy reveals to Walker how a dog helped him search a locker full of truffles, a kind of expensive drug. He also mentions that when he was busted by a security guard while stealing the truffles, the dog chased the guard away and saved his life. Since then, he's developed a soft spot in his heart for dogs. After this, he stands up to inspect the unconscious Gage, but gets shocked to find him missing. Elsewhere, Gage visits the restroom alone and finally retrieves his bag. He then rests at a place and starts injecting the drugs. Suddenly, the police officers arrive at the building, searching for them. One of the officers enters the building with the dog and starts roaming around. Surprisingly, Bullethead can be seen looking at the police officer, who's showing love to the dog. Seeing this, Bullethead backs up and walks away from the place, without attacking the officer. Soon, the officer also leaves, informing the others that there's nothing inside the building. After some time, Gage returns back to Stacy and Walker and asks them to open the door and let him in. Stacy berates him for leaving the room without informing him and makes Gage stand outside for some time. After a while, when Stacy finally opens the door and asks Gage to come in, the latter is attacked by Bullethead. The dog bites Gage in his hand and drags him to some distance. Walker yells at Bullethead to distract him, but this causes the ferocious dog to chase him instead. During the chase, Walker falls down a wooden ladder and injures himself badly. After a bit of chasing around, Stacy and Walker manage to enter the other room along with Gage. The scene shifts again to Blue and the handler, where they're taking Bullethead to fight against a Russian dog. Everyone there believes that the newcomer, Bullethead, cannot withstand the Russian beast. But surprisingly, 
he fights valiantly and kills his opponent. In the present, Stacy bandages the wounded hand of Gage, who apologizes to him for his mistakes. Following this, Stacy and Walker notice a wallboard containing the names of dogs involved in a battle tournament. When Walker asks Gage if he's a dog lover or not, he shares the story of an injured dog he saved as a youngster. Gage mentions how he hid the wounded dog from his drunk father in one of their storerooms. He also tells them that one day, when his father found him stealing food from the house for his dog, he murdered it in front of him. Gage finishes the story with teary eyes and leaves the room, informing others that he wants to take some rest. In the next scene, while inspecting the building, Stacy and Walker discover a secret room with a lot of money stacked on the table. Walker mentions that the money is at least twice what they have in the safe. He then starts loading the money in a bag while Stacy returns to inform Gage about their discovery. Unfortunately, when Stacy approaches Gage, he's shocked to find him dead due to an overdose of drugs. Walker also arrives there and suggests that they get out of the building as soon as possible. Later, after covering Gage's body with his jacket, Stacy comes to Walker to find him in pain. Walker shows him the injuries he sustained earlier and asks Stacy to leave the building without him. Walker also mentions that he does not have much time and suggests Stacy take the money, meet his girlfriend, and enjoy his life. However, Stacy refuses to leave him and tries calling an ambulance. As he proceeds to dial the number, Walker throws his phone away and urges him to go alone. Despite this, Stacy is still adamant on getting Walker out of the place. Suddenly, he remembers the van that Gage had noticed in the garage of the building. He then assumes that its keys must be with the deceased man they'd spotted in the restroom. In the following scene, Stacy arrives at the restroom but fails to find the handler's corpse. Just then, he notices a trail of blood on the floor and follows it. He finally finds the corpse and silently retrieves the keys from it. As he's about to take off, he looks to his side and notices a huge pile of dead dogs there. Suddenly, Bullet Head emerges from the dead bodies and starts chasing Stacy. Terrified, Stacy makes a run for his life and hides inside a piano placed in the middle of a big room. Bullet Head fails to notice him there, and just when Stacy assumes the danger to be over, a drop of sweat drips down from his ear and falls onto the piano. This alerts Bullethead of Stacy's hiding place, and he attacks the piano with rage. After multiple strikes, the piano collapses, causing Stacy to fall to the floor and become unconscious. After some time, when Stacy regains consciousness and opens his eyes, he finds Bullethead stuck beneath the piano's ruins. At first, Stacy considers leaving, but soon feels pity for the poor dog and helps him to get out. Once free, Bullethead is surprisingly calm and he leaves the place without any violence. Following this, Stacy immediately heads to Walker, carries the money bag, and brings him to the handler's van parked in the garage. As they're about to leave, Blue suddenly arrives there and spots them. The gangster then starts shooting at the duo, and he notices Stacy carrying the money bag. Unfortunately, Walker is shot to death. Stacy somehow manages to run inside the building, but Blue follows him too. Though Stacy tries his best to escape, Blue eventually finds him and shoots at him, causing him to fall into the water. While in the water, Stacy is compelled to leave the bag full of money and swim to safety. Shortly after swimming through an opening, Stacy arrives at the dogfighting arena, but again gets spotted by Blue. The gangster then shoots him in the leg, injuring him badly. With Stacy lying on the floor injured and helpless, Blue starts narrating the story about how he was introduced to one of the most fearless dogs ever. Following this, he chastises Stacy for stealing his money and running away. In the meantime, Bullethead arrives there and starts growling at Blue, surprising him. Angry, Blue orders his dog to come near and when he does, he points his gun at him. An arrogant Blue then glances over to Stacy, but just then, Bullethead attacks him and bites him right in his throat. Blue tries his best to save himself by shooting Bullethead multiple times but fails. In the end, the monstrous dog ultimately kills his master and lies beside him, fatally wounded. In the last scene, Stacy crawls towards the dying Bullethead and pats him on the head, thanking him for his heroism. He continues running his hands on Bullethead till he dies. The movie ends with Stacy walking on the beach to meet his girlfriend Grace with a little puppy by his side.